Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. Daddy, we bless you. Daddy, we honor your holy name. Thank you for another opportunity which you have granted to us to be in your presence today. Thank you, Lord, for our journeys all through last week, even indeed from the beginning of the year, even up to last week. Daddy, we appreciate you for your supplies. Thank you, Lord, for healings. Thank you for protection. Thank you for safety. Thank you for security. Thank you, Daddy, for our nation. Thank you, Lord, for our individual selves. Thank you, Daddy, for all the works of your hands. Accept our thanksgiving in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, we come before your throne of mercy this morning. All our sins, please forgive us in Jesus' name. Amen. All that have sinned against us, we too will forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we come before your presence this morning. What exactly you want us to understand, please teach us today. Amen. Prepare our hearts for understanding. Amen. Let it be well with us. Amen. At the end of the day, Lord, let us make him. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. We want to welcome you to today's service. Apologies for our microphones are not working now. But I will fix that. We thank you for staying with us all the time. Kindly subscribe to our channel. Please share our videos. Also like our videos and share your testimonies with us online. And those of you who are here, we also encourage you to study your Bible very well so that you will really cross-check whatever we are teaching you so that you know that you are receiving the truth and nothing but the truth. The Lord will help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, we are taking our Bible passage from the book of uh, Second, First Thessalonians, Thessalonians chapter five. 5, from verse 1. We will stop at the fountain place. God bless you as a listener. Amen. But concerning the times and season, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you, for you yourself know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them, as labor pains upon the pregnant woman, and they shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a helmet the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to God, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with you. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. And we urge you, brethren, to recognize those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and so esteem, and to esteem them very high in love for their own sake. Be at peace among yourself. Now we exhort you, brethren. Warn those who are unruly, mm. comfort the faith hunted, mm. uphold the weak, be patient with all, see that no one renders evil for evil. To anyone who always pursue what is good, both for yourself and for God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Please let's stop there because of our time, our recording time. And the topic for today's message is. Stand out of the crowd. Stand out well among the crowd or stand out. Be different from the crowd. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Uh, please let's open to the book of Ruth. The book of Ruth, chapter 1, from verse 1 to 3 or so. Amen. Amen. The book of Ruth. Anyone who finds it should please. Please, let's always get our Bibles. Yes, read Ruth 1. 1 to. If you find it, please read it first. 
Amen. Amen. Ruth, one. Amen. Amen. Nobody is finding it. The book of Ruth, chapter one. Yes, chapter one, verse. One, two, go on. Now it came to pass, in the days when the judges ruled, that there was a farmer in the land, and a certain man of Bethlehem, Judah, went to dwell in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elmele, the name of his wife was Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malon and Shiliam, the friends of Bethlehem, Judah, and they went to the country of Moab and remained there. Then Elmelech, Naomi's husband, died, and she was left and her two sons. Now they took wives of the women of Moab. The name of the one was Opra, and the name of the other Ruth, and they dwelt among ten years. They dwelt about ten years. Then both Malan and Shilliam also died. So the woman survived her two sons and her husband. Then she arose with her daughter in law. Mm -hmm. That she might return from the country. She might return to her Moab, country. Yeah. For she had heard in the country of Moab that the Lord had visited his people by giving them bread. Okay. Therefore, she went out from the place where she was and her daughter in law with her. And they went on the way to return to the land of Judah. And Naomi said to her two daughter in law, Go, return each to her mother's house. The Lord did kindly with you. And as you have dealt with the dead and with me, the Lord grants you may find rest, each in the house of her husband. So she kissed them, and they left up their voices. Uh -huh. And they thing. said to her, Surely we will return with you to your people. Mm -hmm. But Naomi said, Turn back, my daughters. Why will you go with me? Are there still sons in my womb that they may be your husband? Turn back, my daughters. Go. I am too old to have a husband. If I should say I have hope, if I should have a husband tonight, I should also bear sons. Will you wait for them till they were grown? Will you restrain yourself from having the husband? No, my daughters, for it grieves me very much for your sakes that the hand of the Lord has gone out against me. Then they lifted up their voices and wept again, and Oprah kissed her mother in law. But Ruth clung to her, and she but said, Ruth clung to her, mother-in-law said, And she said, Look, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. Return after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Entreat me not to leave you, or to turn back from following after you. For wherever you go, I will go. God bless you, man. I think we should leave, that, leave it at that. Amen. 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 We need to be different from other people. We need to be different from other people. The story just read to us here talked about Ruth and uh, the other lady. Who are the wives of Naomi's children, sons who have died? Calamities befell their mother in law, having lost her two children, her two sons. As the Lord God Almighty lives, may you not experience. Calamities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. May we not experience calamities in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. But even from every disappointment, God brings out something good. Amen. Amen. God brings everything that happens to us. Yes, we pray that we don't experience calamities. We don't experience disappointments. But they do happen in spite of our prayers. And when they happen, do not say because it is because God did not answer your prayers. No. 
Understand one thing as a Christian. The Lord created both the good and the evil. And the happenings of good and evil to man is not limited to whether you are a believer or you are not a believer. Indeed, Christians, Christ even said that the kinds of tribulations that the people of the world are facing, you are going to experience. The only difference between you and them, or us and the unbelievers, is that while unbelievers can commit suicide, while unbelievers can commit atrocities during their trying times, you and I will stand upright, believing that it is a passing phase. We know that there is victory. We know that victory is assured for us. We know that at the end of the tunnel, surely, Light will shine, I pray. As many of you as are going through or passing through your own turbulence now, you will be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Just trust in the Lord. He says, be, I says, cheer up. For you are victorious. I've given you victory. Amen. Amen. Now, the two of these two ladies, that's why I say. We just want to use to draw out the message. The two of them, while Naomi was returning to back home in sorrow, they were both moved to go with this woman to wherever she was going. But the woman said, "Look, I am of old of age. I am of age. If I give back to a child today." Our children today, they cannot grow up to meet you, to marry you. Why should I waste your own lifetime? That she accepted that what befell her was her own fate. That the calamity was aimed at her, was limited to her. And um, they now said, sorry, we'll go with you no matter what. And they were going. Again, the woman said, I tell you, children, I'm not angry. I won't say you have failed me. Don't worry. I will not say that it is when it is sweet that friends stay. I will not say, but just leave, go. Go and live your own life. Go and make uh, necessary amendments so that you can live the life that the Lord has proposed for you. One went back and said, okay, mommy, we appreciate you. What you have said is true. There is nothing we can do. I just have to go back. And she left. But Ruth decided to be different. Even though there are two. She decided to be different. She said, no, mommy. The meaning of marriage is for better, for worse. The worst has happened. I cannot desert you during this Challenging times. I must go with you. She made herself to be different from the other ladies. And she stayed with Madame Naomi. And they went back to Naomi's origin. The rest is history. The fact is that even the lady that has no hope, I mean, the husband has died. God made, kept hope alive for her. Through this mother in law, Naomi found another husband. And today, because she dared to be different, her name is written in the book of life. I don't know what your situation is now. In your matrimonial home, be different. How do you become different? You know, the usual practice is in matrimonial homes. A lot of women are not tolerant. Maybe of larger families, or maybe of relatives, maybe of friends, maybe of anything. But in your own case, be what? Be different. Amen. Amen. Accommodate people, because you never can tell. Accommodate your mother-in-law, accommodate your father-in-law, accommodate 
your, your husband's friends. Then the husbands too. Do not say because I'm married, so it's me, 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 me alone. Be different from all men. There are men out there who are beating their wives. Be different. Don't be part of them. There are men out there who are cheating on their wives. Decide to be different. Live a faithful life. There are men there who will not take care of their families. Be different. Take good care of your wives and children and family members. There are men out there who enjoy the luxuries of this world at the detriment of their own future. Be different from them. Try and carve out a vision for yourself. A vision that is God-like. Men are out there who will not want to hear the name of God. Be different. Come to God. Because He has the answers to your life's issues. In your place of work, men and women. Some women, when they are working, they have a lot of excuses to give to their bosses. Some will even become turn themselves to prostitutes. Some will turn themselves to uh, what, what do you call it? anything. They don't see anything bad in doing evil, gossiping, and so on. Be different. Know the purpose for which you are in a place. Fulfill that purpose and get your blessings. Amen. Amen. Then, as workers, make sure you serve your employers very well. Do it as if you are doing it unto the Lord. Be different from other people. Be different from other people. As students, make sure that you develop your brain. Excuse me. And you cannot do so unless you do your private studies apart from what you are taught in the school. Be different. Be, those, be among those who will stand out and study to pass your exams. Not those who are pursuing expo or offering their, their bodies to gain marks. Be different. Amen? Amen. In everything you do, Try and be different. Make sure that it is God that is guiding you in all that you do. God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The message is very clear. Be different. There is a lot of blessings when you are different from the crowd. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we just want to thank you. That we bless you, we honor your holy name. Thank you, Lord. For this message this morning, accept our thanksgiving in grace. Amen. Lord, I pray the grace to be different from the ground, grant unto us. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.